Here is how you add a customized noun, a person, place or thing in WordPower in chat. First, you can use WordFinder to check if the word already exists in the vocabulary. So I'm going to open up WordFinder. In this case, I want to add the word buddy, the name of a pet dog. So I'm going to search into uh, search buddy in my WordFinder and I can see that no search results show up. So that means that it doesn't exist in this vocabulary and I need to add it in. So I know that in WordPower, if I go to groups, there is a folder called pets. So I'm going to add the word buddy to the pets page. First, open the menu. You can do this by swiping right from the left of the screen, by pressing and holding on the back button, by pressing the three dots in the speech display bar or the menu bar on the top of the screen if you have this enabled as an option. Press edit mode. Red font will appear on the bottom of the page when you are in edit mode to tell you the name of the vocabulary file that you're in and the name of the page that you're on. Press and hold the cell that you want to edit and press uh, edit button. Each button has four things, a label, what's written on the button, that the message is what it says. You can edit the pronunciation here if required and then looking for uh, the image or picture. So I'm going to type in buddy in the button label. And you can see that it's automatically populated the button message to speak buddy. From here, I can scroll down and click on camera if I want to take a photo. In this case, I'm going to click on find to search for a symbol. It will automatically put the button label into the search bar. You can change this to type for a specific symbol. So I'm going to type in dog. And I'm going to choose this image here. So you can see a preview of your button here. You can change the background of the color if you like by pressing style and then body and choosing a color for that button. When you're happy with that button, you can press save. To finish editing, you can open the menu and press edit mode. You may also want to modify an existing button, especially if the word already written on that particular cell is different from the word that you might use. Uh, so an example is under groups, then food, I have candy. Now I might want this button to say lolly instead because that's what we call candy in Australia. So to edit an existing button, you want to open the menu and press on edit mode. Press and hold on the button that you want to edit and press edit button. From here, tap on label and you can rename as required. If you want, you can search for a new picture by clicking find and then press save when you're happy. Don't forget to open the menu and press on edit mode when you've finished editing.